Hey guys, it's Mitzi and welcome back to a new video. Today's video is all about my brow routine and disclaimer lang po, hindi po ako beauty guru, hindi rin po ako professional sa larangan ng makeup. So kung mapapansin nyo na hindi mukhang professional or hindi precise ang application ko, it's because I really am not a professional. I just want to share with you how I usually do my brows and gusto ko rin kasing gamitin yung mga bagong binili kong brow products. So I thought of combining my brow routine and a mini review of these products into one video. And ang product na sinasabi ko or ang products na sinasabi ko are of course the very famous Sunny Space Life Brown. I got mine in their dual kit in ash brown and this retails for 595 but you can buy them individually. Yung pencil 295 and then yung brow gel 345. There is a 45 peso difference kapag nasa kit and then when you buy them individually. Pero ako binili ko lang naman yung kit dahil sa lalagyan. But I have to say that I'm somehow disappointed because all along I thought the container or the kit was made out of plastic. But it turns out that it was made out of cardboard. Nasa bahay ko kasi yung, yung kit so hindi ko na mapapakita. Pero mag insert na lang ako ng clip ng itsura ng, ng kit. Anyway, the kit or the container comes for free lang naman, so there's really nothing to be disappointed of. Ang mahalaga ay yung products mismo. Yo. So if you want to see how I did my brows and my opinions or my thoughts about these products, please continue watching. Okay, so syempre magsisimula tayo sa eyebrow pencil and what I usually do is I draw a line underneath my brows. I draw a line from here up to here and then pagdating dito mag-draw ako ng small arch all the way down to the tail of my brows. Sinusundan ko lang yung line ng brows ko and then I just blend it upwards. Yun lang. Hindi na ako nag-fill entirely ng brows ko just because I personally think hindi siya bagay sa akin. So, ang ginagawa ko, um, finifill ko lang yung bottom part ng brows ko and then blend upwards to make it a little darker and a little fuller lang. Gusto ko sa brows ko malinis yung bottom part. So, talagang dinadahan-dahan ko para hindi gaano makalat. Pagdating sa tail, tinataasan ko ng konti kasi pag nilagyan ng eyebrow gel, tataas tong hair strands at way. So there. Okay. Then, ang gagawin ko ay i-blend lang upwards. Pansin ko medyo kulang or medyo sparse yung ilang area. Doon ko dadagdagan ng product. Like here, medyo sparse yung brows ko sa part na yun. Yan. So, ganyan lang itsura ng brows ko na na-fill upan versus yung wala pang makeup, ba? Kahit konti lang yung nalagay ko, it still makes a difference. So, let's do the same thing on the other side. Usually, I stop at this point, like pagpupunta ko sa mall or papasok lang, ganyan lang, hindi na ako maglalagay ng eyebrow gel or hindi ko nalilinisin yung brows ko. But for the sake of this video, maglalagay ako ng eyebrow gel. I have to say, I love this product mainly because of two things. First is because of the brush. Ganito kalaki yung brush niya, ayan. Sobrang liit and with the size of this brush, you can avoid the brush from touching your skin. So, yung gel, hindi nag-transfer sa balat nyo. Talagang kumakapit lang sila or siya sa strands ng brows nyo. And that is what I like. Second is that 
it's very long lasting. Tinday ko siyang tanggalin with a mis with micellar water. Talagang binababad ko na yung micellar water sa brows ko and hindi pa rin siya natatanggal. Minsan nadadala na nga yung hair strands ko. So I guess it's best when you use an oil-based makeup remover o hindi ko alam kung yung micellar water lang na ginagamit ko eh hindi suitable sa brow gel kasi ginagamit ko yung Nivea. But anyway, i-apply ko na siya. The only disadvantage na naiisip ko with this brow gel is that it takes more time for me to fill up or to brush entirely my brows kasi nga, ang liit ng brush. But again, gusto ko yung maliit kasi ayokong dumidikit yung brush sa balat ko. Kung mapapansin nyo, this side looks more tamed kasi itong side na to umangat na ito nakabagsak pa din, di ba? So, let's do the same thing on the other side. Kapag may napapansin akong nagka-clump, I usually go over it with this pulley, yung sa brow pencil para malinis. So this is my brow routine and again, hindi po ako professional. I'm not telling that this is the right way or the only way or the best way to do your brows. This is just what works for me and this is what I prefer so itong ginagawa ko. Anyway, makeup naman is an art so there are no rules. You can do whatever you want. You can do whatever you think. Whatever you think that suits you, ang hirap mag English. Anyway, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!